If we don't take action, the collapse of our civilization... Before COVID, climate change was the big crisis. What I'm saying is the planet's on fire. When COVID is conquered, climate change will be the big crisis again. Saying it's not a crisis makes some people mad. <laughs> Students at Georgetown University honked horns to prevent others from hearing Mark Morano say it. They do not want dissent. They shout you down at schools. What do we want? Climate justice! Georgetown police said they'd never seen an event shut down like that before. How dare you? Of course young people fear climate change. They've been frightened about it since they were little. Rising sea levels would displace millions. It's an indoctrination that's so complete that by the time they get to high school, they're not even aware that there's any scientific dissent. I do go to a class of 16, 17 year olds in school and start talking to them about climate. And they are amazed to hear that there is an alternative point of view. Climate justice! Now! These students don't want to listen, but Morano's new movie, Climate Hustle 2, includes facts they should hear. Politicians should hear them too. If we would do more on climate change, we'd have fewer of these hurricanes and other types of storms. Everyone knows that? No, everyone doesn't know that. Listen to Congress's own hearings. Are hurricanes increasing? It's in the United States and globally, no. Are tornadoes increasing? There's no evidence to suggest that they've been increased. Are droughts increasing? According to the EPA and according to the IPCC, the answer is no. You wouldn't know that watching CNN. There will be irreversible damage to the planet. The media do hype every scare. And when Morano says they exaggerate the risks, they call him evil personified, a climate denier. Why should we believe you? You're getting money from the fossil fuel industry. Exxon Mobil, Chevron funded. Yeah, you're Abs not? Not at all. I'm paid by over about 90% individual contributions from around the country. Why would Exxon Mobil give me money? We would gladly accept the money, but they're not interested. They want to appear green. Cut their greenhouse gas emissions in half. Morano's movie also frustrates activists because it points out how hypocritical some of them are. Ladies and gentlemen, the thrice-nominated Leonardo DiCaprio. I try to uh, live a green lifestyle, quote-unquote. I mean, I've, I've done the things that I can do in my house to, to make it my house green, energy-efficient appliances. I drive a hybrid car. Bet he didn't drive his hybrid to... A billionaire summer party in Sicily with celebs like Leonardo DiCaprio, Katy Perry, all in attendance. They all came together to discuss, wait for it, you guys want to guess? Don't read the prompter, don't read Okay, global warming. Oh, <laughs> Did, I know. Got it. Okay. Did everyone miss the memo on this? It's like me promoting weight loss and eating a cheeseburger. They just don't walk the walk when it comes to that lifestyle. I like watching Morano point out celebrities' hypocrisy, but one point in his movie probably goes too far. Stopping climate change is not about saving the planet. It's about climate elites trying to convince us to accept a future where they call all the shots. Your movie suggests this world government conspiracy that they are, want to rule us, but I think they are genuinely concerned and they want to save us. Their vision of saving us is putting them in charge. And if they're in charge, says the movie, they'll destroy capitalism. We've got to go straight to the heart of capitalism and overthrow it. Some even say that prosperity is bad. Coronavirus, who could have thought that someone could say this is a wonderful thing? Because there is less trade, there's less travel. Former UN climate chief, Christina Figueres, has said it could be a good thing for the climate. There's a whole degrowth movement it's calling for planned recessions in order to fight global warming. Degrowth would be a bad thing. You can watch Morano's entire movie at climatehustle2.com. We count on viewers like you to keep these videos coming. Please click that button. Climate extremists got Facebook to block our latest video on climate change and California wildfires. We'll need your help.